I do believe we have successfully acquired what we need in order to be able to cook a couple of things finally. Hello everybody, this is Frogman. Welcome back to the Long Dark. I've managed, I think, in between episodes to catch enough fish to take care of these two recipes, I hope. we. The problem is we have a potato that I'm worried about. We don't have enough potato to do the rest of the thing. We have a choice we have to make. So I did fish for quite a while, and, uh, well, we fished for at least eight hours or longer than that. I think it was probably more like a day's worth of fishing. So, and, and my uh, tip up is working, so I did kind of play around with this a little bit. This is going to hurt us because I'm going to have to break that back open. But what I did do, and I think it's something that I'm going to try the next time, is I'm going to make ice holes that are, well, at least within, you know, you light a really nice hot fire, and then you see how far away from the uh, the, fir the the stove you can get, and then place down your ice holes or your, your tip up so that you don't have to worry about what we're getting ready to do, which is take a considerable amount of cold damage. But what that allowed me to do was about every four hours, I should say not even that, like every two or three hours, I got another fish, which was pretty stinking cool. So we have a reasonable amount of fish out here now, and I have a bunch of good stuff already pre-cooked ready to go. But we need to make a decision as to which one we're going to want to play with. I did manage to get an Irish Lord, too, which was kind of crazy. I ate that up about as soon as I got it. But we do have enough fish now. We can kind of, um, well, do what we need to do. So I might just, um, well, I think I'm going to grab some of this and just take it up there. This is going to be really heavy, so we'll grab the rockfish and these guys, I think we can walk. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can I walk now? Kind of? Okay. I'm going to bring this stuff up here. We are going to have a bear friend show up to us. We need a, a decent amount of wood, and I think I did leave a little bit of wood in here. Not that I'm really worried about it, but I would like to at least cook or attempt to cook the first thing which is going to be the dock workers pie since that's going to be the hardest thing for us to deal with so we may end up having to what is that interesting i don't know why there are birds right there let us go inside and what do we got in here we can break down i got one of those and I managed to regain most of our health, but then, you know, you got to go outside and do the deal. So that's the problem. That is the absolute problem is the fact that you will, as long as you can keep those, uh, keep the ice holes within a reasonable distance of where your actual fire is. So, like, you can fish three times in a row. I mean, you can just set up a fishing thingy around those kinds of deals, and it works pretty quick and easy. I was actually rather impressed with how easy that was. And, yeah, it was about... I mean, I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, it was about about anywhere between two and four hours of time. The tip-offs flipped up, and we got a fish out of it, which was very, very handy. So let's, I guess, see if it'll let us do it. I don't think it's going to, is it? What are you not happy about? I have a potato. And this potato... is ruined. It says I can cook a potato right there. Right? Dock worker's pie, one potato. I have a potato, unless I need to have two potatoes. Where is my wiki? One second. This is nice to know. It doesn't tell you the exact number of how many you need, unless you do this. One out of two potatoes, two out of two potatoes. This is ridiculous. Okay. What does the coastal fish cake take to make? We can do that for sure. I guess I might as well just drop these guys down there on that and start cooking them so we can have something to eat. Go ahead to go to work. I need coastal fish cakes. Do I need two potatoes for coastal fish, coastal fish cakes? I need two potatoes for that too, don't I? That is an 
awful. I mean, awful UI. Awful, 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 awful UI. Yeah, two potatoes. Beautiful. All right, so I know what we're going to do then. We're going to go ahead and uh, just cook a bunch of this stuff up, and then we're going to get the heck out of this zone, because I'm not going to stay here <laughs> if I can't cook any food. So let me gather some more of this stuff up and see if we can aggravate him a little bit, and then we'll head out of the zone. So, the next person here is going to have a pile of food to eat, so we're perfectly good, ready to go. I think I'm just going to go in here, grab a torch, and then we're going to make our way back over towards the end of this area, which kind of sucks. I was hoping we'd be able to do that, but no, we need another potato. Alright. So, fish done, cooked, all that fun stuff. Everything should be ready to go. I think we're good. I'm just going to say we're going to walk her back towards there, towards the, the end of the deal. There's a pile of fish sitting here for the next person, and we have all of the things that we're going to need, including a little bit of water, and, you know, an afternoon where it's kind of reasonably warm. So let's just make our way back through all of this stuff that we've already done. We'll head towards those trailers, and if we have time, and I guess if the weather remains reasonably okay, we'll just leave. So, sad news, sad news bears, I guess, is how all that goes. We'll have to find some stuff, which we have stuff. Uh, I'm glad to say that I now have at least enough maple syrup to be able to make all the pancake recipes. We could do the dock worker's pie, couldn't we? What is it called, this one? No, I need rose hips. We need some rose hips. So, yeah, we just need to go back to where we have all of our supplies and, you know, just get on with this silliness. So, I'm just going to kind of walk over here. I wanted to pick up a couple of sticks because I've uh, managed to use almost all of our firewood up. But we'll go pick up firewood once we get to the other washed out trailer. And hopefully we'll come up with some usable stuff. I'm hoping I'm not doing all this stuff back to back to back to back like this and them dropping an update that changes something, so give me some firewood. We're about out. I mean, I guess I could have made some fish cakes, or fish... Isn't there a fish pie? God, he's right here. Where is he? What are you doing over here, buddy? What? Why are you here? Oh, hi. I... Okay, bye. I'm leaving. Peace out. Enjoy your house. Don't eat all my fish. What did we get? Uh, dang it. There's a deer corpse down there. Or is that a wolf corpse? Looks like a wolf corpse. Okay, but yeah, like, if you want to spend a lot of time here, once you get all the Timberwolves killed and everything done, there's a lot of beachcombing, and because it's, uh, well, because it's Interloper, the blizzards will happen frequently, so you can just kind of live here forever, and again, it's, it, aside from, aside from the Timberwolves, I, I mean, I don't care for Bleak Inlet mainly because it's just overly and unnecessarily cold most of the time. Again, we're at that point in time in the afternoon. It's foggy. Almost every other zone would be warm right now with all the gear that we currently have on, including the fact that I have a torch out. So we should be warm right now, and we're not. Bleak and the airfield both share, well, Bleak, the airfield, and uh, Blackrock all share that one particular trait in the fact that you will freeze to death in them regardless of how much clothes you've got on eventually. So I'm going to take these over here to this trailer. We're not staying. I'm just doing it so that I have some food should I need to come back. Because I have a thought. Might be able to build uh, out here. Ice holes. Maybe. Maybe. Come on. Tell me this water's deep enough. Eh. It's deep enough to be thin. And ice. Okay, whatever. Onwards. Let's go over here, drop this off, and then we're going to get out of uh, Bleak Inlet. We're going to get back through the muskeg. Going to head to... Uh, I hate to say it. I want to go look at that 
prepper cache in Forlorn real fast, the one that we sh we uh, got into while we were doing Signal Void, because I have a feeling that thing might have maintained all of its materials that it had in it, and if it did, I want to make sure that we didn't leave anything behind. Uh, sad news is I think we probably need to go back to uh, Blackrock if we have to. Might have to go back to Blackrock. I don't want to go back to Blackrock, but we might have to, so we'll... We'll drop a couple of these off right here. And can I make a really quick keeper fire? Do I have enough stick at this point? Yes. We're going to keep an hour fire. I'm just going to go inside warm up real quick because we have a fire built. And I had to waste a match on it. So I'm going to see how long we can keep it. So we'll just put a on, fire. couple sticks on it and go inside. And put you out. And I guess, do we have anything we could warm? I think I have a, a couple of... I do have one of those. Why don't you just sit right there? We'll drink you on the way out. Okay, I want the perfect... Pri Shoot, I left that thing, didn't I? I yep, okay, leave it, drop. We're going to bring the perfect pry bar. All of this... Actually, how much coal do we have? Because we're getting ready to go get some coal. Leave three behind, plus this... Just, just pick everything up. We'll sort it all out as we go. Okay, so I want to leave all of this. I'm going to leave three of those just in case we need it. And then I'm going to leave two of those. I think that's it for right now. Should still have a fire. Excellent. Where is a torch? You should be hot. Alright, let's get out of this zone. Hopefully not walk right into a moose. Because there is nothing else for us here aside from a bunch of birch bark. And I think still at this point we have... Where is it? Uh, 18. We're still doing fine. Still doing very fine. Middle of the night, middle of the afternoon, so we'll just see how far we can get. If we have to, we'll sleep in, in the caves. How much did those end up getting used up? Not much, really. Huh. Okay, cool. Straight through the center of Bleak Inlet, like always. We're not going to fool with any of the out outer lying areas. I'm not crazy interested in trying to hunt anything up at this point. Might be one more place we can get some peaches, though. That I can think of. Let's... We're going to aim for that hunting blind that's over here. Kind of over here in this little corner right there. Um, I think it's actually right over there. We'll go aim for that and see if we can see something about it. Maybe there's a uh, maybe there's a peach there. Sometimes there's peaches in that hunting blind. I've found them there several times. I, I don't know why I want any more peaches. I mean, we have three cans currently, and I think we only need two. But if we could do four, that would be great. Not that it really matters. I think... I can get to that thing from here without having a problem. How overweight are we? We're not bad. We could probably drink a coffee and be almost okay. Oh, I guess we could dump ourselves off into that um, bunker too. We'd be over here on this side of the, the world. Climb this. Can I climb this? No. Can I climb it down here? Awfully quiet in Bleak Inlet this evening. Although if we get over by that bunker, we'll run the risk of having to deal with a group of wolves, of which I don't want to play with. Where is this thing? There it is. 
I always manage to go the wrong direction to try to find this one. We needed to cross over there. I think we can do it right here, though. Well, if we fall in... There's somebody here. Where is it? Oh, walked right to it. Hey, looky there. We could theoretically make some stuff now. I did keep my pot in my pan, right? Yes, okay, good. Why, I don't know, but uh, we'll see. Peaches, nice, awesome. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. Uh, that log will take us over to that cave. And then this mess just keeps going that direction, so I might just I get up here and I think we might try to sleep in the actual bunker if we can get over there. Are they here? Don't. See any movement? Ooh, cattail, cattail, cattail. I forget. There are a few cattail over here. And a deer. How many do we have? I have 38. Take two more and we'll stop. It's starting to get cold. We may have to hole up in the the bunker real fast. Run! No woo, woo Yeah, they'll usually hang out like right here. This is one of their spawn locations. So I think we'll probably spend the night in the bunker if we can get to it. Might even just sit down and make Porridge, even though I know I can make it somewhere else. We'll check the cave, we'll check the backpack back here, and then yeah, we'll go over to our, we'll go to the, we'll go to the bunker, we'll spend the night there, since that should be reasonably safe. We already opened it, so no big deal. Can I test and see? Nothing. Okay, cool. Let's get out of this cave. I know you're heavy. I'll probably just go ahead, like I said, and make some dock workers pie. Dock workers pie. Dock workers pie is on my head. No, camber flight porridge, because we can do that one now. We have enough of everything. We need peaches. We need. Now I'm not, like I said, I, I was planning on maybe setting up. Well, I was planning on maybe setting up a table. I'm not gonna set up a complete table because there is no way in heck I'm going to be hauling everything that might stink from wherever I have to cook them the Pleasant Valley although we might try it's not like it's that hard to do but we need to find more potatoes we need at least three more I think I have three more sitting somewhere I hope I have three more sitting somewhere Might have some, hopefully, in the dam. If we do, then we'll probably go cook a bunch of stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cook one of those since we can cook one. Make a little bit of water. Come on, fire! Come on. So we can make camber flight porridge. So that will be 1,250 calories plus a bonus on max condition. And that is going to require a small amount of stuff there plus one of those cook. Wow, that was quick. I guess I didn't need to 
Well, that sucks. Uh, make some water. You know, I really, 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 really wish they would add that to radial. Please let us add that to radial. It would be amazing if you would let us add that to the radial. It's okay. We need uh, need torches anyway. That's fine. All right. Down the hatch. We'll probably have more of that later on. So it's going to give us a headache because it's a very sugary thing, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. And I'll go ahead and cook a bunch of water. Thank you. Not really worried about the, the health at this point. Go. Thank you. Go ahead, cook one of those. And those doesn't stink so we don't have to worry about it you're gonna drink that and you're gonna drink that and that should get us a reasonable amount of rest bonus a reasonable amount of other things and several torches again like another friggin Aurora it's ridiculous All right, whatever. Inside. And I don't remember where this one was. It should be just right here, right? Right. Okay, cool. Uh, drink water. Make sure we're topped all the way up. We have food topped all the way up. Correct. Mostly, all right, and then sleep for as long as we can sleep for, 10 hours. All right, so we should be lightened up. I'm gonna leave all that water right here. Let us get into the forlorn, hopefully. Punched down on all of our stuff. We're water fed it up and nice, let's go. Fed it up, fed up. Fed up with this. Let's get out of Bleak Inlet. I was planning on staying here a little while and trying to trying to survive, but if I have to go find potatoes, there are no potatoes here. So we leave. I believe we've searched every place you could find a potato. Here. So we move on. Now, I, I'm questioning whether or not it'd be worth our time maybe to go back all the way to the bunker. and We're, we're going to go check something. I'm gonna, I want to check something, basically what I want to see right now. Ooh, Burdock. Um, one second. I want to check a couple of things, and the checking the couple of things is if the stuff is still in the bunker in Forlorn, that would be an interesting thing to know. Thank you. Because I know we had a couple of bunkers that were full of things. And because they were full, uh, sadly, we, we have to go all the way to the one in Blackrock to go get a bunch of food. But I don't remember leaving a lot of stuff there. I know I ate a lot of stuff. I think I, I left a bunch of stuff. But I know we got mad at this one, and I left a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to take six of these so we have six to do whatever we need to do. And get the heck out of Dodge. Just run, 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 run. Astrid. We'll leave those right there. And we'll go indoors. You're fine. Gosh, woman. All right. Two bunker and forlorn. And then I think we'll call it at that point when we get there to just see what's going on. Uh, I did leave a few things behind. Did I leave some stuff here for you? Good. You drop there. And, yeah. As always, I like to try to leave a couple of flares at the entrance of this one because this is the direction I will be going back in. And, yeah, that way you can always have some kind of safe method to traverse all of Bleak Inlet. We're also going to try to collect up a bit of fuel. If there is any. Tell me it respawned. That's interesting. Alright. 
Not great. Considering I have like two pieces to my name right now. It hasn't been that long since we've been here. I mean, it's been quite a while actually. There, okay, there's a couple of pieces. Yeah, this, the new bloom feature. I'd love, 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 love if they would put a slider somewhere that would let me shut that setting off because it obscures everything. That looked like that was a double coal. It's so annoying. I mean, I guess it hasn't really all been that long since we were here last, wasn't it? Because we did that bunker last. So that would be why we might not have any coal right now. Interesting. It's been long enough. I mean, we had to go to... We had to go back to... Well, I mean, hang on a minute. How long has it been? Uh, logs. What am I doing? Uh, this. How long has it been? One. Okay, so a hundred... And 11 days and we're now at 137 yeah that should have respawned that's interesting huh okay guess we'll see when we get to the other end over here hi rabbit so good to see you I guess we could make us some pies now Eh, no. If I do, I'll make a rose hip pie. Uh, shut this off. Ooh, we might be able to get one. Hang on. Nope. Okay. Anyhow, let's go back over to the homestead. Is that more burdock right there? Or is that a weed? Good old foggy. Welcome home, muskeg. Miserable zone. Hate this zone. We're gonna run over here because we do have a. We did leave a fair stock of. Um, Good lord. I mean, look at this. We left a fair stock of, of skins over there, so we should be able to check a few things out and see. And then, like I said, after that, I think we'll just next episode head to... Kind of heavy. Oh, you're fine. Then we're going to head back to the dam, pick up our stuff, and head towards... Pleasant Valley, I suppose, and dump a bunch of food off. <sighs> see what we can see. Do what we can do. We'll cook a whole bunch of stuff up. Cook all the recipes that we can. And then, like I said, I might just be silly. I might just... Go back to Coastal with four potatoes... And cook the two things we need to cook and bring it back because yeah I think I'm gonna leave it all on the table I'm just gonna put it right there on the table in Pleasant Valley too bad there's not like a big t table in Thompson's Crossing in the in the community center that would be kind of neat and then we'll see what we do from there again we're kind of we're goofing around we may have to start stocking I mean, we're going to have to kill a bear in... For sure going to have to kill a bear in Pleasant Valley. Because I don't think we have a bear at the farmhouse. 
I don't remember how much stuff we left. Again, we're kind of screwing this mess up because we weren't notating where things were and what things are and how much stuff we left where. Can I get there from here? It's right there, isn't it? No. Where is this? Of course you broke your ankle. I knew that was coming. I think it's right here, right? I don't know if we can get there. Oh, maybe... Maybe. All right, Astrid, you made it up on the hill. Hopefully there are no wolves. I can hold this. For Pete's sake. Oh, look at us. We even left a little bit of wolf meat sitting here. So it hasn't been all that long then. This was still moldy. Huh. Okay, well, let's go inside. I'm going to... Yeah, they left everything. Amazing. Okay, so we have a ton of lantern fuel and uh, stuff, things, gloves, and what did we leave for pelts in here? I don't think there was much for food. I see beans and more peaches. And... Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, 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 cool. So, I'm going to chill out here for just a little bit. We should have several things like that laying around. I do believe there should be a bear hide on the ground here, plus a bunch of random crap that I left sitting right there. So, all right, nice. That's what I was wondering. I will see you all in the next one. I'm going to fix her up, sort her out, and then we can get the heck out of here back towards the next zone and craft a bunch of stuff. I am so glad to see that there, even though I know we have enough stuff now. So, till then, see you all later. Bye.